back to a pearl in every castle of Sierra. This is Sealy Language Arts 600, Book 7. Your view from the back of my classroom. Okay, sixth grade lesson 12. We have subject, verb, agreement, and this is some review. Um, first of all, for some more actual review, what is the difference between a clause and a phrase? Clause, head, subject, and verb. Good, and a phrase is a group of words without necessarily a subject or verb. It might just have a verb, it might just have a subject. Okay. Which ones of these words are punctuated correctly? Hyphenated correct. Collect. Do you like collect? What about Manhattan? Do you like it? No. No, because it's a proper noun. You cannot do that. Collect. Good. Okay, stirring. Yes. Yes. Double letters, but we have a suffix. So we do it between the suffix, not between the double letters. Security. No. no. Two letters at the end of the word. End of the line. At the beginning of the line. Unacceptable. We need more than two. Okay, the new lesson, subject, verb, agreement. We just have a few things here. Whenever we use either, or, either me, or the rabbits, we'll go hungry tonight. Uh, we'll go hungry. We need to make a verb that's going to have action. Eats more. Either me, or the rabbits, eat more. We would say either I, or the rabbits, actually. Yeah, not either me. Either I, or the rabbits, eat more. I you don't say I eat more. That's just a bad sentence all around. Um, either John or the rabbits eat more. John eats. But since we have either or, we always choose the last one, the one that goes right before the verb. Or neither nor the same way. Neither Ricky nor his friends like or likes cats with long hair. Like. We we'll choose this verb because it is plural. Because friends is also plural. Even though Ricky likes cats, we'd say Ricky likes cats, but we'll say friends like. This neither nor totally splits them, and all we focus on is the last one, the one that comes right before the verb. And then with indefinite pronouns that can be singular or plural, which are, what, what are they? Some any, not always. Some any, not almost. Some of this paint have or has, Harden has. Has, because we'll go with paint, paint comes right before it, has, Harden. Even though it's in a prepositional phrase, we still look at it to make subject and verb agreement. Singular, singular. Um, some of the paint has hardened. Um, the other thing that we need to look out for is whenever we're combining something, two things together. We could say, um, the dog and the cat run. That's what we would say. The dog and the cat run. Not the dog and the cat runs. The dog and the cat run. Because it's two things, run. But sometimes you don't have two things like peaches and cream is good. Two things worth making it as one thing. Macaronis and cheese is a good meal. Spaghetti and meatballs is a good meal. Because we're talking about, even though we're using the word and, we're just still talking about one thing because they're very closely related. For those ones, it's a little hard if we don't use some of these terms every day. You know, are these really related or not? Okay, here we go.